this video, we are going to explain the basic understanding of HACCP. First, I will explain what HACCP is and then Food Auditor Mr. Mojib Ahmad will explain further on the HACCP certification process. Mr. Mojib has extensive experience in developing food safety programs in the global food industry. It is not something that is achieved overnight. It takes considerable planning, uh, management, commitment and human resource. Hazard analysis and critical control point that is HACCP is a scientific, rational and systematic approach to identify, assess and control of hazards during food preparation and processing. It is to ensure food is safe when consumed. In the first part, scientific means it is based on experimental evidence or existing knowledge on science. Rational means it is based on a logical approach. Systematic means all steps should be in justified order and not in random. In the second part, identification includes all possible hazards. Assessment means to analyze hazards based on their risk and severity and to identify control points. This will help us to make and prioritize our action plans. Finally, control means the actions to control the hazards. Without this step, nothing would happen. The HACCP system provides a preventive and proactive approach, thus cost effective to ensure food safety. Proactive means we are active before a potential hazard occurs. So uh, what is HACCP certification? HACCP certification is an approval that recon recognizes that a food business has developed, documented and implemented system and procedure in accordance with the HACCP. HACCP stands for what? Hazard Analysis Critical Control Point and is an internationally recognized tool to help in identifying and controlling hazards that may occur within the food business and ensure food safety program are in place. What is hazard? There's a four type of hazard, physical, chemical, microbiological and allergen. Now we are going to talking about benefits of HACCP certification. There are many benefits of implementing HACCP certification in your food business. When it is uh, certified most importantly it provides the obvious benefits to your customers and they don't have food poisoning from your food it shows the commitment of your company and uh, for food safety and they uh, and this shows your customers and the wider communities that food safety is your priority you and your hazards control system are in place you can also comply with the regulatory authorities to run your food business so we are going to talking about HACCP certification process now. There are many steps in the HACCP certification process and it is not something that is achieved overnight. It takes considerable planning, uh, management, commitment and human resource that have been educated in the process of HACCP. Let's look at what the path to certification sh would or should look like that we have to discuss. So now we are going to talking about process steps involved in HACCP certification, how to achieve that. I would like to explain the main steps in ensuring the certification process. These are understanding the requirements of HACCP, develop a HACCP plan, complete a gap analysis audit, choose a third party certification body and undergo the HACCP audit. So these are the steps involved in the HACCP certification process. I would like to thank you for watching this video until the end.